Alrighty guys, so I'm way zoomed in today. Hi, my name's Regan. If you're new here, I do all things clean beauty. If you're into that, click the subscribe button down below and let's just start this intro. So I'm zoomed in today because I'm going to be comparing side-by-side -side Kara Weiss and um, Westman Atley. I'll decide which side when I actually start putting the makeup on. But I wanted you guys to see it up close just, you know, so you can kind of see like skin tone matches, how it affects the texture of my skin because I do have some enlarged pores here. I also have blemishes. I mean, I always have something going on. So yeah, I'm just gonna pin my hair back and we're gonna start putting the makeup on and talking about it. These are both luxury brands. That's why I wanted to put them side by side and compare them to one another because until Westman Atelier got released, we didn't really have a full line of, co well, we had care wise, but we didn't have a couple of lines of luxury packaged products in clean beauty. Um, we just had CareWise and that was it. So I've had a few people kind of ask me the differences. So I just wanted to show you guys and I'll talk about them as we go because this stuff is all very expensive. Um, I got a few things from CareWise sent to me. A lot of it I did pay for. Westman Atelier, I did pay for everything and I don't want you guys to waste your money as well. So yeah, let's just start putting it all in the face. So my face actually feels a tiny bit dry right now. So I keep this Iuna oil that we got in a detox box. You don't need to spend, this is like an almost $200 oil, but I keep this right here um, just because I use it for this purpose if I realize my face is dry, but you don't need this exact oil. There's tons of facial oils out there that are much more affordable. This isn't a favorite of mine. I'm glad I got it in the detox box for that price, but that's about it. Like, I wouldn't pay full price for it. All right, so first I'm going to do Westman Atelier on this side. So this is my left. I think it'll come out as maybe your guys' is right, but yeah, anyways, this side, all Westman Atelier. We're going to start out by using their Vital Skin Foundation Stick. This is in shade Atelier Zero. This is the palest shade they have. Um, and I'm just doing some tiger stripes on my face. I do use this as a concealer because Westman Atelier does not have a concealer. Yeah, I did a whole review of Westman Atelier. All of my thoughts are still the same. This truly is just me comparing them side by side and talking about kind of discrepancies. I will say the coverage of this is kind of like a medium. I think that the care wise as I put it on, you'll see more, is a little bit fuller but I do think it gives your skin kind of like a flawless finish. I think it is a pretty foundation. My issues with it, it's not an absolute fave for me because the price point, and if you go to, again, I'll have that linked somewhere so you guys can see it, or you can just search my channel. I do think it has nice coverage. I think it's a pretty foundation. It's definitely not a flop. It's just not an absolute fave of mine because it also doesn't last all day. That's another thing. So this is the CareWise. This is their lightness foundation. This is my second pan of this. I have used this a few times. I think the coverage of this is a little bit more full than the Westman Atelier. It also is kind of a thicker formulation as well. I think because of that, it lasts a little bit longer throughout the day. I also really do like that they have the sustainable packaging and they've added something else. They've added their new red line. I talked about this in a video as well. I'll have it linked up here. And I think that's cool because it makes it a little bit more accessible price point wise if you don't want to invest in this packaging. If you want something that's more affordable, the red line has this kind of packaging. So just some food for thought. Overall, I have liked the Westman Atelier foundation a little bit more. A lot of it has to do with the ingredients and the packaging. And I think the coverage and just the wearability and how long it lasts. It does have a bit more of a matte finish to it. So it's not as luminous. This side looks a little bit more dewy and then this side is just going to be a little bit more matte. The oil that I use first kind of helps them both be a little bit more dewy than they naturally are, but if you can just see, this does look a lot more matte, right? And because of that, I think the coverage is a little bit more full. So I did order, just so you all know, if you're wondering, the new CareWise concealer. I'm interested to see what it's like. I haven't received it yet. I did want to put this in this video, but I didn't really need it for this video because Westman Atelier doesn't have a concealer. My nose is really red, so I'm just going to, I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but I'm just going to put 
a little bit more concealer not concealer, but of the Kiara Weiss foundation on top because the coverage is just a little bit more full. Okay, so Kiara Weiss is on this side and then Westman Atelier is on this side. Just looking at them side by side, yeah. Because it is a little bit more matte, I feel like the Kiara Weiss has a little bit fuller coverage. This is a little bit more luminous. So it's still a really nice finish and it's again, very flawless, but it doesn't last all day and it is just a little bit lighter in coverage. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Kiara Weiss does have a setting powder. This is my second time repurchasing this pan and I've liked this enough. It was one of the first pressed setting powders in Clean Beauty that wasn't like a crushed up mineral one. I'm using this all over my face because Westman Atelier does not have a powder, a pressed powder or a powder in general. So overall I have like this. It's a little bit pricey. Um, I think it does set everything nicely though. And it used to be a fave, but I will say my favorite press setting powder now is the vapor one. I just think it's a little bit softer. This one isn't as, it feels fine, but the vapor one feels really, really like silky. This one just is a little bit harder. It's not a horrible thing, it just does feel a little bit harder. All right, and because Vapor only has a cream bronzer, I do not like cream bronzers personally, but Westman actually does have their Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. I talked about this a bit in my video review. One of the things that's really hard about this, it's hard to open because it's these magnets that cling together and it's just, it's not an easy one to open. Like getting the magnet separated is a little bit, there we go, we got it. But I talked about this, this isn't the perfect match for me. I think that the formulation's really nice, but they only have this one shade and it's just a little bit too red, orange, and deep for my skin tone. I'm just very light handed with it. I'm not using a lot as you can see. And then I'm just blending it out. Again, I can make this work. It's just, I think there are better bronzers out there. I'll have a whole bronzer video linked above. This has my favorites, things I think are okay, and then the worst bronzers I've tried are my least favorites. All right, and then they both do have cream blushes and highlights. So I'm going to be using Westman Atelier's Petal Cream Blush. I have liked this. This was actually one of my favorites. I'm just dotting it into my cheeks. It's kind of ironic. I actually really learned how to use cream blush through watching a Kara Weiss makeup tutorial. I think it was on Instagram or something. But I'm also going to use, this is from their Flush and Glow Inner Light Palette thing. Um, this has a highlight and a blush in it. I think this is really nice and clever, but I'm going to use the blush from this. And this is the Inner Light one. So this is a little bit orangier and the petal blush is a little bit pinker. So I can't really compare based off of pigment, but I can compare based off of a formulation and pigment if that makes sense to you. So I'm just gonna blend. Well shit, I had some black stuff on this. Okay, I'm just using my fingers today because this brush had some black eyeshadow on it somehow. Um, I think I put an eyeshadow brush up near it by accident, but I'll just use my fingers today. So I think it's a nice pretty blush. It's a nice flushed look. I do like that. That was one of my favorites from the line. And I do like the Kara Weiss blushes as well. So these are two that I think they're equally actually as good as the other. I think it just really depends on how you prefer applying blush. Do you want something that you're just going to press into the skin that's in a stick or are you okay with using your fingers? Um, I'm okay with using my fingers. So yeah, I do like those. I think that the pink is a little maybe a bit more pigmented, but also that coral shade may blend in better with my skin because it's a little bit, not saying it's skin toned because it's not. I mean, I don't know anyone who has like an almost orange skin tone, but that does blend a little bit more. I can still see it, but I think the pink gives me just more of a flush look. So just so you guys know, but I do like both formulations. And then for highlight, I'm going to use the Westman Atelier. This is their Lit Up Highlight Stick. So I like this enough. It's not an absolute fave because I feel like there's just things that are more illuminating out there, but it does look nice on the skin. I can definitely see where you could get that glass skin look from using this. So 
I'm gonna put this under my lip and then at my cupid's bow and then I'll use the Carewise on my nose. It is pretty, but it's just not, you know, my normal highlight. I like something that is a little bit creamier, this little bit jellier. I also feel with this, you can't see the highlight as well now. Maybe it just looks that natural and it does look pretty. I mean, I'm looking through the viewfinder right now. I try and always look at you guys directly, but it's pretty, it's just not my absolute fave. And that's just kind of a personal preference thing. So now I'm going to use the Kiara Weiss highlight. This is again from the Flush and Glow palette. And this one is a little bit pinky in tone. So that's something I really do like. I found that shades like this really wear very naturally on my skin and give off a really nice illumination. So again, this is a really personal preference with the highlight. I do think they both end up looking pretty. I just have a you know, a bias in that way with what I like. All right, guys, so let me know which side you like more. Do you like the Westman Atelier or do you like the Kiara Weiss? Because I basically have all my bases done. So yeah, I don't have a brow product from either one. So I'm just going to use the Zuzu Lux. This is their clear mascara. I got this at Target on my brows. So I'm not doing a lot with them today. So I'm just doing a one color eye look because I have the Westman Atelier iPods and I want to show you guys them. I don't have tons of shades from either one of these. I also have, this is a Kiara Weiss eyeshadow. I think they're kind of similar-ish in color. This one's a little bit more purple and pigmented, but I kind of, you know, I wanted things to look a little bit uniform. So I haven't loved the Westman Atelier iPods. I think they are a total waste of money. There is so much stuff out there that's so much better than these. Oh, hey, what you know? I already hit pan on this and I've had these for two weeks because that's how much you have to dig into this product to get it out. God, I really don't like these. And I'll tell you this, I really do like the Ritual Defi um, cream eyeshadow, their eye sets or whatever they're called. Those are more expensive actually per little eyeshadow than this, but the thing is why I like them so much, regardless of their price, they're really effective. This, I can get the same look by just using a highlight on my eyelid. I really don't like this and I think it's a waste of money and I'm actually sending them back right after this video because I think they were that bad. I just wanted to compare these side by side. Everything else I'm keeping, I normally don't send stuff back like that, but it was just that bad. So I'm going to use this Kiara Weiss eyeshadow on my lid and I'm just going to use my finger because it's what I did with the other side. I don't love Kiara Weiss's eyeshadows as well. I just don't think that purchasing from these two brands eyeshadows is the best use of your buck. You can definitely get really nice eyeshadows from um, Prisma Palette, Aether Beauty. There, there's a lot of options out there. Let's just say that. And for the price of these, you can just get better things. I will say the Kiara Wise one is a little bit more pigmented. It's not a favorite because it's kind of actually patching up in the center. But yeah, you can definitely tell I'm wearing different shades of eyeshadow. They're the most similar thing that I had to one another though. And I didn't want to buy anything new because I don't like these products. So why would I waste my money? Westman Atelier does not have an eyeliner. So I'm just going to use the Kiara Wise one. I actually have liked their eyeliner. It's 30 bucks. It is expensive for just a pencil stick, but it does last a long time. It lasts, last a long time. And it's a little bit drier. It's not as creamy. I found though the drier formulations hold much longer throughout the day than the super creamy ones. All right, so now we're comparing mascara. So I have the Kiara Weiss mascara. This is their volumizing one. I'm just going to use it on this side. It does have a silicone wand. I haven't loved this. I didn't get their silver packaging that goes with this. I just got this. Um, a little bit cheaper and I thought that I had their old packaging but apparently their old packaging doesn't fit their new volumizing one. Anyways I don't like this mascara. If you can even see it doesn't really volumize. It maybe defines a little bit and that's it. I mean it's not a voluptuous mascara at all. And I'm getting some fallout with it onto my cheekbones. I've used this in the past and I maybe didn't realize that because I was so focused on the fact how much you have to build this up to get any definition. You know, that's what it is. I wouldn't repurchase that, wouldn't recommend it. And then I have a mini of the Westman Atelier Mascara. I have the full size as well, just so you guys can see. I think it is a really beautiful 
custom packaging. It's gorgeous. The only thing is it's kind of wasteful and it's very, very expensive. I think I actually like the Westman Atelier mascara more than I like the Cara Wise one because it's very volumizing. It looks nice, but it smudges and it also has fallout. And for $62, there's just other clean mascaras even out there that, well, I just got a big clump in my lash. There's just better stuff out there. And because of that big clump, now I, I'll need to go in and fix some stuff. Anyways, you can find better things out there. That's final point on that. I think mascara wise, it's one of the things I don't love to spend a lot of money on personally for the channel. I'll buy things to review it. But if I did not have a channel, I would not spend more than $30 ever on a mascara and 30 is high. This side, so much better than the other. There is still some fallout with this mascara though, so both aren't perfect by any means, but just an actual first application, it looks so much better. I'm just going in and removing any fallout or smudges and stuff with a Q-tip. I just kind of like lift them out in a way, just so you guys know, little tip. Yeah, there's a lot on this Kiarawise side. I don't know if I can get all that. All right, and now we're on to lips. So I like, to wipe my lips off before I put anything on them, just if any foundation got on them. Westman Atelier does not have a lip liner. Kara Weiss does. I am going to use the Kara Weiss one. I have liked their lip liner as well. It's creamy enough, but dry enough that it still holds. Like it's creamy enough to transfer well onto the lips, but it's dry enough that it holds its place as well. All right, so I'm going to use, this is one of the new Nude Naturally lipsticks from Kara Weiss. This is the shade Genuine. It's a little bit more of a purpley nude. So I'm going to use this on bottom. I really have liked the new Naturally formulation. It's really creamy and pretty. I don't know if they reformulated their other lipsticks too, but I hope they did because they were very dry. It's a nice pretty shade. I like that. I really have liked these. I think they're beautiful. The packaging is beautiful and the formulation is now beautiful. So yes, they're pricey. They're a pricier one. I think they're above $50 for a lipstick. Not for everyone, totally understand that. But if you are interested in spending a little bit more and treating yourself, it's worth it now. Before I just didn't think they were worth it. I just thought it was pretty packaging and crappy um, formulation. All right, and then I'm just going to use this bottom kind of mauve shade from the Westman Letelier Atelier Lip Suede on my top lip because it is a little bit more purple. Anyways, guys, so lips are done. Um, the top one is a little bit deeper than the other. It also has a little bit more kind of a brown tone to it. It's still mauve, it's just a little bit deeper and a little bit more brown. The bottom one's a little bit more of a lilac purple shade. I do like both formulations. I think they're both really nice products. They're a little bit different, obviously, just an application, where with the Westman Atelier, you do need a lip brush. With the Care Wise, you don't. You can just, you know, put it on like you would a traditional lipstick. So, yeah. Alrighty guys, so this is just my final look um, and comparing these side by side. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're a ride or die fan of either one, if you would purchase from either one, what you're interested in, what even brought you to this video. I thought it was kind of interesting, again, to compare them side by side. They are very different. I think that Westman Atelier, hmm, I'm not sure which side I like more. This is actually the bad side of my face. It's like the not as symmetrical side. Um, there are definitely products I kind of like from both and I feel like they both do have good base products. I think that's where they both shine is I do like, you know, the foundations enough. I do like the highlights and blushes and how they wear on the skin. Um, I think their eye products for both of them, aside from Kiara Weiss's eyeliner, it's just kind of uh, and then their lip products are both pretty good. So yeah, let me know if you've tried the lines. Let me know your thoughts and thank you so much for stopping by the video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening. Wherever you are in the world.